Four workers at two North Texas offices where people were getting help enrolling in Obamacare have been fired or suspended. Now, this comes after they were seen in an undercover video produced by a conservative watchdog group. The group says the workers encouraged people trying to sign up for coverage under the Affordable Health Care Act to lie on their applications to get a cheaper rate. And a top Texas lawmaker has now called on President Obama to shut down the entire Navigator program immediately. Fox 4's Natalie Solis joining us now from the National Urban League's Dallas office with more, Natalie, on what that video mm -hmm. shows. All right, well, Heather, right now I'm here at one of the offices uh, where that video was recorded. The other office is in Irving. Now, between the two offices, three navigators in training were suspended and another part-time receptionist was fired. I'm told by the Project Veritas folks that this is the first of three undercover videos it's releasing. Okay. So, so you got combined W-2s? Video shot inside the Urban League of Greater Dallas office on Lancaster Road. The man speaking in the video, undercover, working for Project Veritas, started by James O'Keefe, whose hidden camera footage led to the dismantling of community-based organization ACORN in 2009. I'm a college student, but I, I work for the university. The man pretending to sign up for coverage under the Affordable Care Act. So I do like, you know, stuff. There and then I do stuff on the side. In one instance of the edited video, a federally funded navigator encourages him to hide income earned from side jobs on his health care application. Don't get yourself in trouble by declaring it now. Exactly. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never reported. Report that. Okay. okay. The group says these videos were recorded in late October, weeks before President Obama came to North Texas to thank volunteers who helped with the enrollment effort. And people can apply in person if they've got committed folks who are out there helping people to sign up. And that's what all of you have been committed to doing. At this Urban League office in Irving, the same man is told not to admit smoking to lower his premiums. More question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have, I, I don't know where it says, it says something about if you smoke or something like that. But I don't really don't smoke. I may lie because your premiums would be higher. Okay, okay. Lie. okay. <laughs> don't tell him that. <laughs> then this admission from the same employee. I always allow my... In a statement, the Urban League says her employment with the Urban League of Greater Dallas has been terminated. In addition, we support actions by the Department of Health and Human Services to decertify the three navigators in training featured in the video. And the Urban League of Greater Dallas has suspended these employees until further notice. The Urban League goes on to say... Our organization has not authorized any of our employees to operate as navigators at this point. While this information was conveyed to the undercover applicant and corrective comments were made in the presence of the undercover applicant regarding some of the instructions provided by these individuals, unfortunately, the full context of these comments is not reflected in the video. The Urban League says it's requesting a copy of the full, unedited footage to aid in its own investigation of what happened at the Dallas and Irving offices.